today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Mendel 90 uh, 3D printer kit it's available from Nopad on the RepRap forums uh, Chris and his wife Mary have graciously allowed me to purchase one of their 3D printer kits which I believe to be one of the better 3D printer kits out there at a, a really fair price so and I'll go over all these details uh, in the description and as well in follow up videos uh, the plan is to uh, after the unboxing to document the build um, either in videos on here on YouTube uh, as well as via blog um, to share in the experience of uh, what it's like to build a 3D printer um, from from beginning to the first print and then throughout whereas we'll go through testing and designing um, items that are necessary about 3D printing and designing so bear with me while I unbox this uh, Mendel 90 3D printer kit also I have to tell you right away that I jumped to the gun and I got pretty excited and I ripped it open right away and I started digging through it and then I said well let me hold on a minute so this white duct tape here isn't part of um, the way that Chris and Mary packed it up but it was very packaged very very well you can see everything very very tight it's pretty heavy and secured in there so let's go Excuse me for my uh, belly. It will probably be in the way in the uh, majority of this video. So uh, I'm really sorry. My wife's been trying to tell me to c control it, and uh, I've been taking steps to do that. Including stop drinking beer. As of this past um, Monday, so it's Friday. Friday tomorrow. If that gives you any kick. Here it is. Here is the awesomely packaged Mendel 90 kit. And look at that. Chris and Mary wrote me an awesome letter outlining many things, and I'll read it to you real quick. Dear Jason, thank you for choosing Mendel 90. In the box you should find aluminum composite sheets for the frame, power supply, a box of plastic parts, smooth rods, aluminum tubing, and stainless steel studding. Five stepper, stepper motors, bag of fasteners, bag of cables, belts, wire, heat shrink, tubing, and poly, polypropylene strips, goodie bag, heated bed and glass sheet, hot end pre-assembled, Melzi electronics, sample PLA pack, and PTFE tubing. <clears throat> There's also an SD card with USB adapter in your goodie bag. This contains your build instructions and all the software and resources to make your first print. The instructions are also on GitHub and the source code as well at the GitHub website. So any updates since the issue of your kit can be found there. If there are any problems with your kit, missing or broken, please contact us directly. For any technical support questions, please ask in the Mendel 90 form first. Uh, Chris jumps in there any chance he gets or notices somebody post a uh, message in that forum. So if you purchase one of these Mental 90 kits, that's where you would go for support. And that's where I'll be going as well. You can also visit the uh, Mental 90 blog at the hydroraptor.blogspot site. This one there. Okay. Here's how the kit looks when it comes. I'm sure it's different. Um, it's very, it's very snug in there. Nothing's moving around. Um, lots and lots of packing things to make sure that nothing moves around. Um, I was pretty surprised. I had already taken most of this out to to fool around with it a little bit. 
so let's I'll just go one by one as we see it we'll, we'll talk about it with that. so <coughs> there's some village green PLA three millimeter 20 meters from Faberdashery and this is good stuff I'm excited to use that green is one of my daughter's favorite colors and we're gonna have a good time with that hot end so let's check that out there you go folks BAM look at that pretty spiffy it's all together ready to go looks like it was put together pretty well nicely done thank you very much cuz I most likely would have screwed that up so here is a bag full of all kinds of screws washers and nuts everything in there and that's a lot wow that's gonna be fun to not lose any of those a cable bag bag contents one belt T 2.5 by 6 by 663 here you can read that a bunch of cables a bunch of belts ribbons polypropylene wires and heat shrink tubing that's gonna be fun as well I haven't fooled around with the ribbons since high school Good D bag. Good D bag. Let's see. Ta da. Good D bag. Good D bag. So, all kinds of stuff in there. Fan. Resistors, bearings, clips, sockets, extruder connection. Four way terminal block PCB mount plug. You can take a look there. There you go. Alright. Here's a box. Another box. So, un unboxing within the unboxing. How about that? Uh, oh, there you go. How about that? How about that? Look at those pretty things, huh? So. Plastic parts, all kinds of stuff in there. I know that they did it the right way because look at that. Bam. Look at that. All the plastic parts ready and checked off. Look at that. Individual check marks. That, those are by hand, folks. That's by hand. That's not some automated crap. That's love. That's love right there. Look at that. Amazing. Awesome and amazing and everything else. Look at those. There you go. There you go. There's the uh, the motors right there, huh? So they look like uh let me take one out. Zap automation. Zap automation with the wires. Okay, looks good to me. We'll see. I saw on um, what's his name, Geo John's video. He had some problems with the motors, I believe. And this looks like the power supply. Yes, it is. There you go. Looks like a uh, 500 watt, as it says on the outside. 230 volt. 500 watt. Alpine switching power supply with a bunch of connectors in there as well. There you go. There it is. There. There it is. There is the board. Let me crack this open. Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. There it is glass 
and the hot bed, the heat bed. Hot zone, hot. It's a hot zone. Ouch, ouch. There it is. That will be fun to keep my daughter from touching it. You know, she's only two and a half years old. So we're gonna have some beef, her and I. Um, because she wants to touch everything. She wants to do everything. She wants to control everything. She's just like everybody else in the family, huh? But at two and a half years old. Here's one of the boards. There's the... That's awesome. That's so awesome. Look at that. It's just ready to go. Everything is, is there. Look at that. That's the SD card reader, correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tac, tac. X motor, Y motor, Z motor, E motor. Power, hotbed, hot end, fan. X stop, Y stop, Z stop. B temp, E temp. Oh, jeez. It's looking like my Frau, my wife, is going to let me spend this weekend or well, actually starting tomorrow, Friday. As soon as they all go to bed, I'll start cranking this together. <laughs> uh, and then hopefully, I'm not gonna, I don't plan on sleeping, so by Sunday. There you go. There's some rods for you. Those are clean. Those are spiffy. Look at that. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one you want, folks. Nice clean rods. Your mama always told you. Make sure your rods are clean before you left the house, right? That's right. You know, already fabbed up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once once this is all together, I'm sure I'll know the name of all these individualized things, but right now I don't, so please bear with me while we're going to learn this together. So, and here's the, the beautiful, the bond. One of the things that did attract me to the Mendel 90 was the design. Um, and maybe, and I tried to explain this to a friend of mine who's pretty hardcore, 3 friendly guy. Rip Rap guy, open source guy, he's a, an amazing person, Marcus. Marcus Link. And uh, the Mendel 90 just, it just doesn't look as robotic as the other Rap Raps. Oh, Rip Straps, so look at that. This is the, 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 the bond there. It's already pre cut. Pre-drilled. Everything is ready to go. There you go. Pre-cut. Beautiful. Amazing. <coughs> Super impressed. Super duper. And that's it. Nothing else in the box. Enough. I have to tell you that the customer service from Mary and Chris was just amazing. It was really, really outstanding. They really answered everything that I wanted to know before I even placed my order, which maybe was a little bit too much. I kind of took it overboard, but... They answered every question I wanted to, anything that um, that I wanted to know, they answered as best they could. I even asked for, uh, you know, some other stuff that, uh, that uh, they tried to help with, but they couldn't. But, I mean, we're going to see this, and we're going to do this together. You can see some of these parts. Now, I believe that Chris... Prints his parts up himself, but I would 
doubt it if you outsource a little bit of this. I mean, that's a lot of parts to put out, right? That that takes a long time to do all this, but that's good quality stuff there. You can see that, huh? Look at that. Yeah. Uh huh. That's it. So that white on black. That white on black looks good, right? If you guys haven't seen the photo on the um, on the blog from the Hydroraptor site, go check that out. It's gorgeous, and that's one of the, again that's one of the things that attracted me to the Middle Ninety was it doesn't look so robotic like it's going to jump off the table and go and eat my dog, and that's what my wife would probably think if she saw the Mando original version or the. Um, even the arms of some of those things um, but we'll get this squared away thanks for watching thanks uh, Marcus for introducing me to 3D printing uh, thank you to uh, Chris and Mary uh, and uh, letting me order this item and uh, let's build it let's do something special also I want to give a, a shout out to uh, anybody who may be in the process of doing the same thing as me. If you have questions or you want to do this together, reach out to me. Let me know. Let's do it together. Uh, you know, we can all learn. It's all about open source. The point of the RepRap 3D printer is the, to replicate itself. Um, so, you know, I'll probably be printing parts like this as well once this is all built and put together and we're rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. And uh, let's print some stuff. Huh? Have a good night.